His cascade draped in a South African flag. Police performing some honors. Jonathan Dubula Kwelani was given a fitting send-off for someone who saved the country at this level. During his career as a journalist, he worked for some influential and respected media houses in the country. As an activist, he also challenged the repressive Bantustan laws in the then Buputaswana homeland. His family described him as a brutally frank person who did not fear to criticize the apartheid regime. What makes me happy today is that even though I feel that my deeds are not the same as his, but to him, my efforts were at this level. And I hope that this time I've accompanied him to a very special place. Maybe paradise, I don't know. He's human, he's done well, and also aired as well. His work is known worldwide. We don't doubt that. Northwest Premier hailed Kwelani as one of the finest journalists Mahikeng has ever produced. Here lies a giant of a man, one of our own, a man who came from us and went to make his mark in the world to the love of his craft. He was an out and out newsman, John Quellar. Clearly, he ranks among the finest our town has ever produced. And his name will forever remain etched in the history books of this country. And other leaders challenged public representatives to commit themselves to save the people and not themselves. Greed has actually preoccupied our minds time to save the people and the communities. And you ask ourselves that with the communities that is poor in the Northwest, what is it that we think the communities must say about the organization? And the applaud is because they understand that this greed is not of the organization, but the individuals that are leading the organization. At the time of his death, the veteran journalist was still embroiled in a court matter dating back to an article he wrote in 2008. It was in connection with his controversial views on homosexuality. 68-year-old Kwelani is survived by his wife, six children, ten grandchildren and six siblings. Itumelen Khajani, SABC News, Mahigay.